Okay, we are watching the markets right now. The S&P down just 10. Everybody's got a business idea in them, right? And thanks to crowdfunding, money comes flowing in. But while it's a boon for startups, it's becoming increasingly difficult to track and trace sometimes misused money. Classic example, it's making a lot of news on the East Coast here. A New Jersey couple in a harsh spotlight after starting a GoFundMe campaign for a Good Samaritan homeless veteran who gave them money for gas when they were stranded without their wallets in Philadelphia. Well, they raised $400,000 but are now being sued for mismanaging much of the donated cash. And while GoFundMe now says they'll find a way to get the homeless vet all of the money that's missing, this could put a chill on crowdfunding for both charities and startups. Enter PledgeCamp, a next-generation crowdfunding platform built on blockchain technology that promises to solve issues of trust and crowdfunding mismanagement. Here in a Fox Business exclusive, we welcome PledgeCamp founder and president Eddie Lee, along with PledgeCamp advisor Randy Zuckerberg. Welcome to you both. Uh, Eddie, I want to start with you. Oh, boy, that, that really smacked down trust, that story. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of them out there, whether it's crowdfunding, Kickstarter, like what happened to my money? How are you guys different at Pledge Camp? What do you do that's different? Right, so we consider Pledge Camp the next generation of crowdfunding platform. We had crowdfunding 1.0, like you mentioned, GoFundMe, Kickstarter. It's been really an amazing vehicle for people to fund their businesses and their products. But like you mentioned, there's an accountability problem. It's just not built into the model. And studies have shown that up to 85% of campaigns 85% will delay or not deliver anything at all. So what we do is we take the best aspects of blockchain and take that to crowdfunding and make crowdfunding 2.0. Okay, for people who've never heard of blockchain, what are the yeah. best aspects? I know it's, it's a, a ledger. It's an electronic ledger, digital ledger that you can follow every step. Are you saying that if it finally comes to the launch of the company and the company goes belly up and it can't make it, what is the recourse there? So there's several benefits to blockchain technology. As you mentioned, there's the ledger, mm -hmm. which lets you have more transparency, more security around who you're sending money to. Mm -hmm. You can know more about them. What are they using the money for? Exactly. You can see where the money is going. Yeah. But there's we also... don't want it on the, uh, the, the, the little games and every, you know, the, the granola bars for the workers. You want to see your money being spent, <laughs> right? Right. Exactly. You don't want yeah. food. Ball. All right, and the, the other cool thing that blockchain lets you do is something called smart contracts. Mm -hmm. So what smart contracts are, they're these software programs that allow two people on the internet to know for sure what the, the terms of their agreement are, to make sure that they'll be enforced without relying on you know, a team of lawyers or a third party. Mm -hmm. This allows people to create trust over the internet. Right. Just like you wouldn't buy a house by just giving all the cash up front, you hold some in escrow so that the developer actually builds the house for you. That's that's what they're doing there. You get a little bit up front, but then the money doesn't get released until the creator is actually making progress on the project, so you have trust. Okay, so I, I look at you. Um, you're an author, you're a mother, <laughs> You're Mark Zuckerberg's sister. You, co you created Facebook Live on the Facebook platform. You could pick any company to be an advisor. Uh, why this one? Gosh, there's so many reasons. First of all, um, I've backed Eddie and Jay before in other initiatives. They're just incredible entrepreneurs. But also for me, I've been very interested in the crypto and blockchain space for a while. I think it's a space that more women need to get involved in, quite frankly. Um, but I didn't want to get caught up in the hype. There's been a lot of hype in this space. For me, I'm interested in practical applications of blockchain mm -hmm. in our lives. This is one of them. Um, this is one of them. I, my passions in life are supporting the arts and giving more women and underrepresented entrepreneurs a chance to have their projects backed. And with something like this, with Pledge Camp, you, it doesn't matter where you live, what access to financing you have, if you can't get a VC to write you a check, it, suddenly you have a platform. It's very democratizing. So that's what's exciting. It's kind of ironic. You raised a lot of money for what could be a, a Kickstarter, of, right? I mean, for, for what could be a killer of that. And you did it through Kickstarter. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we've done Kickstarter in the past. We've raised, like you mentioned, over $2 million in our experience with crowdfunding. And that's really shown us firsthand, obviously, the benefits, mm -hmm. but also the problems. And these pains that we're feeling, 
That's what we're trying to solve now for other people. Okay, but well, can I just say, Randy, um, when, when you give money to a startup, it's a risk. Venture capitalists know this all too well, don't you? I mean, are you being a little unrealistic or, or yeah. pledge camp for, you know, the uninitiated to say, oh, I, I believe in this this crazy project and then it well, goes I think, under? I mean, you when you opened up this segment, you led with exactly what happens. There's so many amazing projects out there, but you give money to the wrong one where mm -hmm. someone misuses it and then suddenly you never Never want to support a project ever again. You sour on the entire system. That's what what I really love about Pledge Camp is the money doesn't get released with these smart contracts. You feel trust and it protects both the creator and the backer. Here in a Fox Business exclusive, Randy Zuckerberg and Eddie Lee. The company is called Pledge Camp. It's up and running. It's not up and not running. Not up yet. and running. When? No. When? I need the when. It's, it'll be up and running summer of 2019. We've partnered up with an amazing design agency that's made. Some products that you've probably heard of, Slack and Coinbase, and they'll be helping us build and launch this next year. White Paper is live, though. I was yes. going to say, yes. the White Paper yes. is going live as soon as they are off the set. Mm -hmm. How can people read that? They can go to pledgecamp.com, and they can download our White Paper there. Very cool. And he's a Berkeley grad, so he's <laughs> a guy go after bears. my own Go Bears. Go Cal Bears heart. Great to see you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank Fascinating you, stuff. Thanks, Randy. <laughs>